In this video, I'm going to show you how to move your lovable project to cursor. Now, the first thing you want to do, you want to open up one of your projects inside Lovable that you would like to essentially move to cursor. And then you want to go ahead to the very top right where it says sync your project to GitHub. And you want to click on that and you want to connect GitHub. Now, after this, you will have to first connect your account. And then once you do that by clicking this button over here, it's going to be very simple. You're just going to have to authorize. You can do this within a few seconds. You then have to connect the project as well by clicking your GitHub organization over here and just waiting a few seconds and then it should connect automatically there we go and then it created a github repository under your account so you can click view over here and then you will see inside github this is going to be your essentially your project okay over here now here make sure to remember this name so for me it's going to be nimble calc mate okay it's just a simple calculator app and this is what it is now once you do this once you've successfully cloned this you want to open up your cursor app on the desktop so the desktop version you can do this on the web version you have to go to their website download it to your computer and then you can work from there now what you also need over here is going to be git so in case you don't have git installed this isn't going to work and then whenever you're going to press this clone repo over here nothing is going to happen but once you have git on your computer you can just click on clone repo over here and then it's going to say clone from github you want to click on clone from github and then here basically once you're assigned in with github you want to click on allow over here and then you can just basically copy and continue to github it's going to essentially open up your github over here let me just show really quickly there we go and you want to click on continue and now once you do this you'll have to basically paste in this code click on continue and there we go as you can see it's gonna say congratulations you're all set and you are pretty much done okay so once you've done that you want to close this tab and then here you'll see a bunch of different things you can clone now what I would recommend you actually clone over here is of course the one you're trying to use the one you had opened up earlier so I'm gonna just click on over here and there we go. It's going to basically require you to select a folder you'd like to have this. So I'm just going to put it into my downloads folder for now. But of course, you should have it saved in a better in a better folder, which you're going to basically remember where it is. So click on select as repository. It's going to start uh, basically cloning it over here. And then as you can see, you'll have to sign in again. So sign in with your browser. And if it asks you to do this, you just have to wait for a few seconds. Again, you're going to have to authorize your Git ecosystem, which I'm doing on my second monitor over here. It's literally a click of a button. And there we go. It says, would you like to open it? Click on open. And then it just going to open up in here.